I found 15 work from home jobs that you can do overnight, you don't have to have any experience, and in many cases you can work part time. And my team and I did over 100 hours of research because we always want to bring you the best possible jobs. So if you appreciate us doing that, go ahead and gently tap that like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be an AI powered translation evaluator. And this is basically where you review the work of AI when it comes to translating language, and then you give the AI feedback and over time it gets better and better. And this is basically a perfect intersection of AI and language skills. And it's perfect for those who are multilingual and also interested in AI technology. And right now the AI software market is estimated to be worth over $328 billion. And by 2029, it's estimated to be 1.3 trillion. So there is a ton of opportunity here and it's basically growing about 50% every single year. And in this job, you'd be expected to make around $57,000 a year. Now here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video if you'd like to check them out. But yeah, this is a really good one. There's going to be a lot of opportunity for this in the next few years as they're trying to hone AI to be better and better. There's also a lot of opportunities here when it comes to starting a business as well. So for instance, you could take content that was really popular in English, translate it to many different languages, and then start posting it all across the internet. And eventually the AI translation is going to get good enough that it's almost like a native speaker. So yeah, this is a really good good one, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote travel logistics coordinator. And this is where you would typically be working for a corporation and you would be setting up all of the travel details of either employees or in some cases, the corporation's customers. And this would be anything from making sure that the passport and visa situation is taken care of for them to making sure that their flights are coordinated to making sure that they have travel arrangements when they land, booking hotels for them, and even making sure that they have nice restaurants restaurants and things to do in the city that they land in. And logistics coordinators make about 46 to $69,000 a year. So this one is going to be especially good if you're someone who loves to travel anyways. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. And here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a contract coordinator. And this is basically a role that combines legal savvy with administrative skills. And it offers an in-depth look at the legal aspects of a business and how they do their contracts. Now, this is going to be especially good for people who are very detail oriented and people who don't mind reading, understanding and negotiating boring contracts. Now this job, you'd make about 48 to $75,000 a year. You can get into this with just certifications. You don't necessarily need to have a college degree, although college degrees are preferred. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a tour marketing coordinator. Now this is typically going to be a job where you work work for a musician or a musician's production company. And you are going to be responsible for promoting tours and live events. And of course, a significant amount of the promotion is going to be done online. And tour marketing coordinators make about forty-five dollars to $65,000 a year. So this is another really good one. It does not require a college degree or previous experience. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you want to learn how to do tour marketing, which most of it is digital marketing, I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to get jobs in digital marketing without a college degree or previous experience. And they all were taught by my friend Seth, who has taught thousands and thousands of people how to do this. And Seth does have a free digital marketing masterclass, which you can check out down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. And he goes over pretty much everything you need to know about the most popular forms of digital marketing, like SEO and paid advertising. So definitely check out that free masterclass by clicking the link down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a remote chat operator. So this is kind of like a customer service role, except instead of having to talk to people, you're just going to be chatting with them over remote chat. And I don't know about you, but this is probably my favorite way of getting customer service, especially if I just have a really simple problem or a simple question I want to ask people. I don't want to have to stay on the phone for half an hour just to be able to get a hold of someone. It's much better if I can just chat to someone really quick and get the problem solved quickly. And companies, at least the ones who want to keep their customers happy so that they keep them for a longer period of time, have started to notice this. And so more and more companies out there are hiring people to be remote chat operators. And chat operators make about $35,000 to $58,000 a year. Now this one obviously does not require a college degree or previous experience. It's also relatively easy to get into. And I get it, it's probably not something that you're going to want to do for the rest of your life, but it is a relatively easy remote job to get. Then once you get your foot in the door, you can look for better jobs later on down the line. So I'll go ahead and give this one a 7 
out of 10 opportunity score. Oh, and by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Now, the next one on the list is very similar, and that's going to be a remote chat sales specialist. So this is something that a lot of companies are doing now as well. So for instance, if you're signed up to a software, a lot of the time people will have questions about how they can use a certain feature. And that feature in many cases is going to only be available if they upgrade. And so if someone asks a question like that, they'll probably get passed to a remote chat sales specialist. And this person's job is to convince that person to upgrade to the higher level product. And this is another thing that's becoming more and more common. And there's actually really interesting data on this. So for instance, for customers who chat before making a purchase, there's a 10% increase in average order value, a 48% increase in revenue per chat hour, and a 40% conversion rate increase. Now, sales chat agents make about thirty-four dollars to $55,000 a year, but in many cases, you'll actually get commissions and bonuses if you're really good at your job. So this one would be an even better one to get into because you can make more money with it. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is a member support specialist. So membership Memberships are one of the most popular ways for businesses to make money. I mean, think about it. You've probably seen YouTube pushing YouTube premium, and you've probably seen a million other companies pushing different types of memberships. And there's a reason for that, and that reason is because you get what's known as MRR, or monthly recurring revenue. And MRR is really nice because it's an extremely stable and predictable form of income. Now, in some cases, there's actually group memberships, so you actually have a community of people that you interact with. And that's where the member support specialist comes in and they they can shine. So it's typically a better form of a customer support agent because they want to retain their members. So they basically want to give really, really good service. And member support specialists make about 41 to $57,000 a year. Now, obviously you do not need to have a college degree. In many cases, you don't have to have previous experience either. And this one is relatively easy to get into. Now it definitely helps if you're a customer of the company that you're applying for. And it also helps if you're extremely familiar with the company, the brand and the product. And these types of roles are especially easy to find if you're willing to work at night. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. And by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Definitely check them out. Next is going to be an account associate. Now there's several different types of account associates. In some cases, you'll be working in healthcare. In some cases, you'll be working in finance. So for healthcare, for instance, you would basically be doing emergency and in-home care, managing after hours scheduling, and working remotely to handle tasks like clock-ins, staffing shifts, and client schedule changes. And when you're talking about the word account, typically this kind of means like a contract that a business has with another business. And in many cases, these could be contracts that are worth hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. So it's very important that they have account associates to take care of these contracts and make sure that they keep them. And in this position, you make around 57 to $89,000 a year. Now with this particular one, it's going to be a little harder to get into than a lot of the other ones on the list. They do tend to prefer people who have college degrees, but you don't have to have one. However, However, they're definitely going to prefer that you have some work experience, but it doesn't matter as much what type of work experience. For instance, a lot of the time they're going to accept people who have customer service experience. It also helps if you get some certificates or certifications on websites like Coursera or edX. But yeah, this is a really good one, but it's also a little harder to get into. So I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a service desk specialist. So this is where you would give relatively basic IT support. And in many cases, you'd be giving the support to customers or in some cases, the employees of the company that you work at. So basically asking people if they tried turning it on and off again. Now, these types of jobs are extremely easy to get into. And one thing that I love about it is a lot of the time, it's going to be a great way to get your foot in the door in the technology industry. And I've talked about this a lot of times on the channel, but the technology industry is probably the best industry that you can work in. It has the highest pay, it has the best work-life balance, it has the most opportunities for advancement, it has the best benefits, and it's just generally speaking, the most chill. And service desk specialists make a respectable forty-six to $65,000 a year. And you absolutely don't need a college degree or previous experience to get into this position. So like I said before, this is one of those jobs where you get your foot in the door and then there's lots of other jobs that you can ascend to that are going to be even higher paying. So I really like this one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Oh, and by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. By the way, while you're watching this video, comment down below what your favorite job is and I'll probably include it in another video or I might even make an entire video about it. Next is going to be a customer success manager. Now, this is not like a customer service associate. I know that it sounds like that, but this is actually a completely different job. Customer success managers typically work for what's known as 
B2B businesses. And these are businesses that sell products and services to other businesses. And a lot of the time, these contracts can be hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. So what the customer success manager's job is, is to make sure that the company that bought the contract, bought maybe a software, for instance, has a really good experience and they implement it perfectly. And this is also a really common job in the agency and info product and coaching world. So for instance, you might be working for an agency and they might have a customer success manager that works for the companies that the agency provides a service to. And again, their job is to make sure that that company is happy with the service and there's open lines of communication. And in this role, you'd make about 55 to $86,000 a year. Now, this is a pretty broad job. I mean, you can get this job in many different industries and it's industry specific, whether you can get it at the entry level or whether you have to have some experience. In some cases, you can actually go into this one at the entry level without a college degree or previous experience. And in other cases, you're going to have to have some experience in something like customer service for a few years before you can transition into this role. But either way, this one is a great opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Definitely check them out. Next is going to be a virtual inbound sales call representative. So this is basically where you wait for people to call certain lines. And these are people who would likely be interested in buying a product. And I know that that sales seems really intimidating to a lot of people, but I've said this before on the channel, I think everyone should have at least one sales job in their life. And to be honest with you, inbound sales is a lot easier than cold calling or knocking on people's doors. And you'd make about 43 dollars to $63,000 a year. Plus, if you get into the right job, you might have really good bonuses or you could have really good commissions. And again, this is one that you don't need to have a college degree or previous experience in order to start with. So I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Oh, and by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be one that you've probably heard about a million times, but I'm still going to cover it in this video, and that's going to be data entry. So as much as people like to pretend that AI is going to make all of these jobs extinct, there are still a ton of data entry jobs out there. Because no matter how good AI gets at collecting data, someone still needs to be there to clean it and make sure that it's organized. And you make about thirty-four dollars to $49,000 a year. So it's not the highest paying job, but it's extremely easy to land a job and it's extremely easy to land a remote job. So it's a great way to get your foot in the door working remote, and then you can find a better job down the line. And another secret about this one is it's actually a really good segue into working in higher paying data related jobs. For instance, this is a great way to get into data analytics. So I get it, probably one of the most boring jobs you could do, extremely repetitive and monotonous, but at the end of the day, you can make a full-time income, and then you can work your way into a better job. So I'll give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a cyber sales agent. And this is typically a sales job where you're going to be selling lower ticket products to people. And a lot of the time you might be working for a physical product e-commerce company, or you might be working for a software company, but you're typically going to be selling lower ticket products. So you're not going to be selling like hundred thousand million dollar contracts. However, if you get enough volume, you can still sell a ton of people every day. And it's a lot easier to sell like a $50 a month product than it is to sell a $100,000 contract to another business. So cyber sales agents make about 55 to $90,000 a year. So yeah, this one can be great. Obviously sales isn't for everyone, but like I said before, I think everyone should do it at least once in their life because they're just gonna learn so many valuable skills and it's gonna stay with you for the rest of your life. So I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a cybersecurity analyst. And this is basically the entry level cybersecurity job where you would be protecting against hackers. And cybersecurity has become more and more valuable in the last 10 to 20 years. You've probably heard about giant companies like Target, and Equifax that got hacked and then they got fined tons of money and they also lost a lot of customers. Plus they took a huge reputation hit. So cybersecurity jobs are some of the highest paying and most sought after jobs by companies. And as a cybersecurity analyst, you can make 91 to $150,000 a year. Now out of all of them on this list, this is the hardest one to get into. You can technically get into this one without a college degree or previous experience, but you basically have to be like a prodigy. You basically have to be someone who kind of grew up studying hacking and so you kind of understand how it works. Typically, most people who are hired are going to have previous experience. And in many cases, they're going to have a college degree. But this one is still a great opportunity. A lot of people, for instance, will start off in IT, 
get some experience, take some certifications, and then they will transition to cybersecurity. So overall, I know it's a little bit harder to get into, but I thought I'd include this one if there's some people out there, you know, that in random tech jobs and they want to switch into it. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a remote product tester. And this is basically where you would be diving into new products such as software, and you would be testing it to try to find bugs. So you're kind of like a quality control person for software or websites. And typically you'd want to do this before it goes live and reaches the public and their customers. Now, a lot of the time, this is another one of those jobs where you're going to be working in the tech industry. So it can be great to get your foot in the door and then move on to better jobs. And you can make about 49 to $88,000 a year in this role. Now you definitely do not need a college degree to get into this. In some cases, you may need work experience, but I have seen many people get into this without a college degree or previous experience. And the work experience that you typically need is something related to technology or software. So for instance, working in IT. But yeah, this is another really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Oh, and by the way, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. By the way, I did another video that went viral on 19 work from home jobs that you can do at night. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.